Hey everybody, welcome to First 15 Live. So glad to have you on board this morning. Got a great question for you. Are you more like a strife spreader or are you more like a peacemaker? Come on somebody. Um, I'll give you just a minute to jump on board. Remember, whether you're watching live or later, we'd love for you to comment, like, and share um, just to engage with us, okay? And um, the reason being is because here at First 15 Live, we believe that uh, it is important for every believer to spend at least 15 minutes with God every morning, right? So let's make an impact. Let's make a difference um, by spreading the word and saying, you know what, God, we're, we're, uh, we, want, we want to help in this mission. And so um, glad you're on board and uh, making part of that. Here's some ways you can do that. You can, um, you can like our page and then you should be able to, um, I know uh, somebody said yesterday they're having problems with it, but um, I went back and checked it um, on, on desktop and mobile. So you should be able to hit the following button and then an option for edit notifications. It's not a pencil anymore on mobile, but there's a button that says edit notifications, hit that. And you can choose to see all of our posts you can choose to see every time we go live as well. And so those are both important. So do that. Make sure you don't miss anything um, that God wants to speak through, to you through this page. And uh, let's engage this morning. If you've got any prayer requests, drop them in. And if you're ready, give me a thumbs up. All right. So again, we, we read through the one-year uh, one Bible. I invite you to join us in that, um, oneyearbible.com. Or um, you can use the link that's on our page. Uh, you, you may have to scroll a little bit to find it, but it is on there under posts. And um, you can actually join with me and about 22 other people um, in, in reading the Bible. So um, anyway, it's, uh, it's a, a great opportunity and a great thing to do. So in our Bible reading, because in, in the one year Bible reading plan, there is a, um, every day there's a, a little bit of Old Testament, a little bit of New Testament, Psalms, some Psalms, and some Proverbs. Um, just a little bit of each. And so um, it's, uh, it kind of keeps you on your toes a little bit. And at the end of the Proverbs section, uh, in fact, it's Proverbs six nineteen. It's a list of things that God hates. How many, how many think if God gives a list of things he hates, you want to make sure you're not on that list? Come on. Uh, and so uh, and the very last thing he puts on the list is someone who spreads um, um, discord or strife in a family. Someone who spreads discord or strife in a family. Hmm. God hates it when somebody spreads discord in a family, when somebody causes strife. Now, let me let me ask you something here. Um, the, the reality is, if God hates someone who, discord, uh, who sows discord in your family, how much more does he hate it when somebody sows discord in his family? Huh. Think about it. When somebody sows discord in God's family. And so Jesus would say it this way. Blessed are those who make peace. Who are peacemakers. That means they step into a situation where there's not peace. Where there is strife. And they, bam, they shut it down. And they release peace everywhere they go. And so essentially you have two types of people. Uh, three. You've got, you've got, strife makers and you have peacemakers and then in the middle you have people who are nothing makers who they go around and and you know if there's discord they're they're part chat 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 of the discord if there's peace oh praise jesus for this peace right um oh i can't believe they did that oh thank god for his grace uh come on somebody uh, am i telling the truth and so what you don't want to be is stuck in the middle or on the strife side, we all want to be walking as peacemakers. Why? Because God hates somebody who sows discord in a family, especially his. And if you read the New Testament, most of Jesus' prayers were for unity, that we would come together, that we would be together. And um, if you're a strife maker, here's what I know. You make excuses for everything. I'm being real today. I'm just trying to challenge you today. Maybe this will speak to somebody's heart and shock you. My sheer bluntness maybe will shock you into recognizing that you are a strife maker. You've been blaming everybody else. It's everybody else's fault. Hey, if it's everybody else's fault, maybe the problem is you. If every church you go to has people who yeah, 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 maybe the yeah, yeah, yeah is you. Did you ever think about that? If every boss you've ever had has not treated you right, Maybe the problem is 
It's you. Right? Like, maybe it is. Maybe you are a strife maker. Maybe the enemy has a stronghold in your life and you need to get free from that. And you, you make excuses for all the reasons why uh, you don't have friends and you don't have godly friends and why you can't go to church and why you can't be in a small group and why you can't serve on a team and, and, and uh, you know, why, why you can't do this and why you can't do that, why you can't read your Bible. You, you make excuses for everything or why, why you're saying this about something. Well, hey, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to, you know, um, whatever. You make all these excuses for why there's strife in your life and it all comes down to strife is actually made in your own heart. And then some of you are, are, are people who ride the middle. People talk, oh yeah, people just love to talk to me. That may mean you're taking part in gossip. Come on, somebody. If you are listening to somebody's story and you do not have, um, if, if they're not a like a uber close friend, so we all need close friends that we can kind of vent to and that kind of thing. But even then, we should be challenging our friends to... To make peace. That's what peacemakers do. They're even honest with their close friends. Like, bro, you, you, you messed that up. You need to go fix that. That's not on them. That's on you. You need to go fix that. That's what a peacemaker does. And if everybody's coming to you with their junk, okay, it may be that you're an easy place to gossip to. And you may be one of those people in the middle. And you may be uh, maybe not a strife creator, but you may be a strife uh, conduit. Uh, it's flu season, right? You you might be you might not be the um, you might not have the the gossip bug, but you may be spreading it. Come on, somebody, right? Like you may you may not have the flu right now, but you may be sharing the flu. Hey, help help me out, help me preach. And so don't be don't carry the strife, don't carry the spirit of strife. Walk as a peacemaker today. So I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to pray. And I want you to say, God, what, which one am I? Am I a peacemaker? Or am I a strife maker? Or am I in the middle? Just leaning whichever way the person who's talking to me is. Because Jesus is not pleased with that either. Come on, somebody. All right. Michelle, I'm reading your prayer request right now. If you have any other prayer requests, drop them in. Um, okay, we'll pray. For continued healing there, Michelle, and continued wisdom for the doctors. Good morning, everybody who's on here. I'm reading all your comments here. Love you guys, and I'll go back and like all of them. Um, let me know if this speaks to you at all. And uh, again, if you haven't shared, let's share. Let's get 100% share rate. And um, and uh, let's be peacemakers today. Father, I pray for everybody watching this, Lord, that you would make us peacemakers. I pray for Michelle's mom for absolute healing, even right now as we pray. Uh, Lord, I pray that. God, you would help us today to see and notice situations where we're um, either starting strife, uh, causing strife, continuing strife, or being conduits for strife, or just being in the middle and leaning towards, you know, wishy-washy, whichever, whoever around. Let, Lord, let us stand uh, as warriors and our weapon be peace, um, the peace that comes by your spirit, Lord, and fill us up today in that and use us as the world changers you've created us to be. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, you are a world changer. So let's go change the world today. Danielle, definitely praying for Lyric. God be with her. Encourage her. Speak to her, Lord. Bring transformation in her life. You're a world changer. So go change the world today. Encourage somebody. Pray for somebody. Make a difference. Bless somebody. And watch what God does in and through your life. Serve somebody. Make some peace. Bye for now. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at 630.